السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Uh, then, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Robley, and I'm going back home. I've been living in Canada for the past 25 years, on and off. When I say on and off, I mean by I've traveled back home a few times. I'm originally born in Mogadishu, Somalia, but my home for the past 20 years has been Somaliland, where my father used to reside, and I used to go visit him. I'm leaving Canada because I can't take it anymore here. It's uh, destroyed my mental health. It destroyed my interpersonal relationship with others. And by that I mean me uh, and having doubts about trusting people, uh, what are people's motives. Financially, it has bankrupted me. Um, everything has, everything and anything has some type of legal document attached to it. One way or another, you're gonna be paying interest. Interest is higher sometimes. Um, a, lot of, a lot of interest traps or debt traps are common. They're not talked about a lot. Um, It's not even corporations, it's even the government itself. And the government has interest for no reasons. They have a lot of debt traps. Social welfare is a joke. Social welfare is more predatory than credit card companies. And the rent is too damn high. If it wasn't for YouTube, I wouldn't have seen that video from the 1980s in New York when the guy is yelling the rent is too damn high well the rent is too damn high it was high it exploded after COVID everybody that owned the property could squeeze every little dime out of the current tenant and then and then push them out so he can get more wealthier clients or more wealthier renters uh, double charge, triple charge. It's just not being able to own property. I mean, second country, second largest country in the world. And if you lose a job, you lose your house, you're pretty much effed. During the COVID period, We've seen something, a phenomenon we began calling tent cities. People living in tents. Okay. Why does Canada have these emergency funds where they go overseas and help other people in disasters when they can't even handle their own disasters? Um, identity. My entire life I had issues with identity living in a western civilization for almost the past 35 years and not being around your people not being around your culture most of the time um, freedom freedom to do certain things like have chickens in your house being able to raise chickens, being able to garden. I feel that in the first 10 years of assimilation into Canada, they really hit me hard with, this is the best government in the world, this is the best country in the world. And as a hopeless, In the family that was kind of lost, I fell into the assimilation quite hard. 
and I was drinking the Kool-Aid from day one. But then it took me almost five years to deprogram myself from that we're not living in a free society, that we're dependent on government corporations for almost everything. During my time in Canada, I befriended a lot of people that were older than me. And I like hanging out with the older crowds because the wisdom that they could pass on to me. And I got a lot. And that's what helped me stay away from a lot of issues and a lot of problems. And, and I'm always a forward, forward thinker. Sometimes I get derailed off my train of thought too. But anyways, Canada. It's getting more unhealthier and unhealthier. Everything is processed. I mean, I mean the, the ground is fertile. Most of Canada is fertile. Um, even if it's not fertile, raised bed gardens, aqua, aquaponics, there's so many ways that you can grow your own food. But we were, we were led to believe that this country, everything is provided for you. That's the entire privilege of being a Canadian citizen, that everything is provided for you. You don't have to worry about these things anymore. But what if I don't want to be provided for? What if I want to source my own water, my own food, my own medicine? No, instead go to the doctor, get 16 pills, and I'll see you in two months. If they work. Mental health is a joke. <clears throat> Mental health, these doctors, they don't know what they're doing. But that's that's an that's an episode on its on itself. I'm gonna be shooting that one at the one of the largest mental hospitals is in southern Ontario. So so the synopsis of this channel is escaping Western society. I've been lived in Western society for almost 35 years. And I keep saying almost because there was many periods where I was just living somewhere else and kind of being a nomad before digital nomad even came out and because I was unsatisfied I was unhappy and and it's not about being content but it's more of there's something missing there's something missing and life shouldn't be this way The empathy I have for others is another huge um, reason why I'm leaving. Because I keep seeing younger kids, kids younger than me. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Young men, young women, teens on the street. And I can't simply blame it on an opioid crisis. I have to look at it that the, gov the system failed them. And we couldn't deal with the homeless population because of job losses, uh, accidents, certain things that when you had your life set up, alcoholism, addiction, there's a lot of stuff that while you're living on a good path that can derail your entire life. Just one thing. And after that, the life as you know is gone. And if you're not lucky or have networks, and by lucky I mean that a social worker or somebody will take a liking to you and kind of push you or kind of give you the right directions I've seen a lot of people fall through the tra cracks I I myself have been experienced 
falling through the crack, especially our mental health in this country. So, so we escape Western society. Where are we gonna go? What are we gonna do? How are we gonna live? How are we gonna make money? You know, I hate, hate is a strong word, but I hate, I hate monetary gains. I hate the entire monetary system. I wish there was something else. I read a, I read up on a guy named Jack Fresco about a decade ago. And he had a project called the Venus Project, which made a lot of sense. Allowed technology to work for us. Allowed technology to work for us so that we can do whatever we want. You wanna learn how to paint? Go paint today. Why work? When everything is in abundance, let me rephrase that. Resources are finite, but nevertheless, if we get over this capital, I have more than you, everybody can have the same. Shelter, food, water, medicine, safety. If we can provide those five things, then what's the point of going to work? What's the point of cutthroat or, or climbing the ladder? or oppressing others or putting puppets in places they don't belong imagine if you had water food medicine shelter and security what more could you want and everything else you go get it you go learn it make education free that's the type of look, world I want to live in. But as, as the human race, the path that we've been on for the past 20 years, I don't see that happening anytime soon. But what I do see happening is people who think like me, and if you're watching this video, it's time for us to do something. It's time for us to get to work. We may not enjoy the fruits of our labor, but our kids and our grandkids will. If we want to make change, we have to start with us. That's why I'm starting with myself, living this privileged life, living this luxury society, living the Western influence, going back home, my home at the moment is Somaliland. I have a small little plot of land. I plan on growing food and medicine according to the permaculture principles. I plan on harvesting water, not only for myself, but in, hopefully for the community. I hope, I hope, it's not I hope, I am and I will. I can, I will, I must. I can, I will, I must harvest rainwater for the entire country not if the entire continent because we're losing precious rainwater and as my name is Roble I've been thinking for the past couple of years what is my purpose in life what is my purpose in life for the past four decades I have taken from this earth I have used and abused I have exploited, I have taken advantage, now it's time to give back. Back to the people, back to the earth, and most importantly, back to my creator.